the club always had a great camaraderie about it. Nearly everybody that came into the club bought into that sense of friendship and community. The aims and the goals are fundamentally the same, to reach the highest standard possible. I imagine Templar's Lady Section to be evolving even more than what it already has. I imagine that in about five years' time, we could possibly have a Premier League team. Hi, my name's uh, Ken Holland. Uh, I'm chairman of Temple Oak Basketball Club. I'm Philip Brennan Whitmore. I'm the secretary of Temple Oak Basketball Club. Well, Temple Oak Basketball Club uh, was set up in 1976 by past pupils at Temple Oak College. It was the only past pupil uh, club and it continued on for three years and then it disbanded and then the when the guys in 1976 left the school, they actually took over the running of the club and we all rejoined it again. Well, Temple Oak Basketball Club currently is one of the largest registered clubs with Basketball Ireland. It has in excess of 200 members, ranging from seven years of age up to the senior players in their 30s playing Premier League. Temple Oak Basketball Club is successful today because in the early 1990s we found we weren't, not many players were coming through the club. It was a minority sport within the school mm. and in the greater Dublin area. And we also found we had a whole lot of young kids. Most of the players were now having children and we wanted to get them involved. So the junior section was initiated. We got so many kids then involved that we decided we better start playing uh, some games and some teams. So that really uh, started the junior section, uh, which was really the foundations of the club from now on. Those boys now and girls are, are playing with us in our senior teams. And that's what we wanted. And that was the whole really start of, of Temple Oak Basketball Club as a full club playing junior and senior basketball, mm. which were all different ages. Our vision was always, somewhere along the line, if we could generate enough players to support progressing well in the Dublin leagues and then ultimately Premier League team. And today the fruit of that success is that the Premier League team has on the panel seven of our seven players who have come through the ranks of the junior section and in the last five years have won uh, last six years, maybe seven years, mm. have won five national cups, which is unprecedented mm. in the Dublin area to have that type of success. So I started basketball when I was 10 or so. I started in the academy. I was doing all the basketball camps up in the arena and um, down in Gormans Town as well. Uh, I did, the first year I did camp in Dungarvan, then I did Gormans Town then for the next five, six years. So I did all the camps, I did them all at Christmas, all the Easter, midterm, any time I could do them. It was great fun. Met loads of new coaches, new players. And uh, funny enough, the, the coaches that were there, I play against them today in Premier League, so it's pretty interesting. I played with Temple O since I was a little kid, you know, so I started training once a week, then it was twice a week, and then Premier League we play three times a week, and then matches every weekend, so it takes up a lot of time, it's a lot of effort, but I enjoy it, you know, and make loads of new friends, meet loads of different kinds of people, go to all these tournaments, all these camps, like I said, so it does take up a lot of time, but I love it, and that's why I do it. The girls section was set up in about 2000. Yeah, right around then, yeah. Yeah, and it, it grew. And now we grow the girls' side equally same as the boys, trying to get good coaches to continue the tradition within the club. 
I imagine Temple Oaks Ladies section to be evolving even more than what it already has. I, I imagine that in about five years' time we could possibly have a Premier League team. I think we'll have an even bigger range of underage teams as well and I think we could be going on to winning national cups and national leagues as well. I feel that Temple Oak has a certain camaraderie about it, built out of a, a nucleus of people who are there from the initial team within the club. Mm. They're, still, they're still hanging around uh, and it's something you see only in one or two other teams around the country where people who remain involved from the very first day that they came into the club. And it's very important to have that, you may call it a historical link and a traditional link. If you don't have traditional links within clubs, it's very hard to keep that camaraderie, that bind, that continuity. Mm. Uh, so much so that we have our, our master's team. Yes. That's thing. anybody over 40 and over 50, and it won't be long before it's over 60 now. And they're still going and they're still playing basketball. And they're still involved in the club and, and come and to all our dues. Even, and even to the point yeah. that the master's team won a yeah. uh, yeah. okay. prestigious UK tournament <laughs> right, two yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's, they're like old dogs, you can't get rid of them. <laughs> uh. For Temple Oak College, the aims, basketball club, the, the aims and the the goals are fundamentally the same: mm. to reach the highest standard possible. The number of uh, players reaching national represent teams is quite large. Mm. You know, we we had the captain of the boys under 18s last year. But two years ago, we had the captain. Of the Irish under sixteen ladies, you know. So and the and Sean was the captain of the under sixteen boys at the same mm. time. So we we we've done well, and our goals mm. remain, and our standards remain high. One of our main uh, stumbling blocks is to because we're so segregated amongst all the different gyms. Now uh, we have to hire four gyms across the whole area of Dublin. And we would love uh, to build our own gym within Temple Oak College, where the whole thing originated, and that's that's would would, would be one of our primary goals now and going forward. That we would have our home area. We have so many uh, kids enjoying the game that it'd be great for them to just to know that this is their home team and they can come to the same spot every week and be guaranteed to to watch or join in one of the training sessions or watch one of the premiership teams actually playing in Temple Oak College where it originated from. And, and that would be my goal for Temple Oak in the future. And to keep the same standard of basketball and of coaching that we have right throughout the club now. Uh, and hopefully we will be able to do that within Temple Oak College, the grounds of Temple Oak College where it initiated so many years ago in 1968. It was the first team that played basketball in Temple Oak College. We want to be have the Premiership team playing uh, home games within that college. A spiritual home mm. in a large full-size gym mm. would be the ultimate goal where the academy would train in the same gym on the same floor in the same baskets mm. as the Premier League team and you'd have that real unity then that mm would continue on. That a whole club should be, the whole idea of a club. It's a club is so, somewhere to go, everybody to share their experiences and to enjoy the game of basketball. You'll have difficulty writing one, won't you? This contest.
friendship. Oh.